Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the ESP32 WebSock Server 01. So, for the WebSock Server, it can run for any devices. Okay. So we can use the PC browser or the WebSock client to get the data from the server. During the data communication, it has uh, three parts. One is a shake hand. Okay, for the first uh, communication, it needs the shake hand to uh, set up the communication to set up the connection. Okay, so the second part is receive data. The third part is send data. So this is the three important part for the WebSock server. Uh, here we take a look at the first part, shake hand. So how to uh, the verbal server how to uh, set up the shake hand communication at the very beginning of the uh, WebSock. Okay, so. Uh, in the ESP32 SDK, we have one example for the WebSock server. Let's open the folder uh, using the Visual Studio Code. Open the ESP IDF folder and uh, uh, find the examples, examples, and protocol, and HTTP server and the WS echo server, uh, WS echo server. Into this folder, uh, we have one C file under the main folder, uh, WS echo server C file. So as you, your the application entry point is here. So this is app main. It is the start point of the application. Okay, so uh, from here to here is uh, uh, fresh initialize and the Wi-Fi initialize. Okay, we have discussed all the code uh, in previous videos. So uh, here we will focus on the start verbal server. Okay. So let's go to the definition. So this is the start web server. In this function, it will call the HPB, HTTP uh, D start. Call this function to start one web server. Okay. And then reduce the URI handle. For the URI handle, uh, it, uh, uh, Processing the HTTP GET method and the ERCO use the ERCO handle to processing it. So let's take a look at the definition. So this is the ERCO uh, handler. Here it uh, uh, check the re require method uh, if it is the HTTP GET. So it just uh, print out the information, handshake done. And after this, uh, it use this function to receive data. And it use, uh, it use the uh, send function to send out data. So we cannot see how, how the verbal server processing the handshake okay we cannot see the uh, handshake processing function at this position okay so how the uh, WebSock processing the handshake uh, let's take a look at the another places okay components uh, components and uh, uh, HTTP server ESP HTTP server Inside this folder, uh, we have one HTTP DWSC file. 
This is all the variable sort code. Okay, this is all the web sort code for the uh, for the web sort function interface. Okay. So inside this code, we have one uh, shake hand function. So this is uh, HTTP D WS response server handshake function. Okay. In this function, uh, uh, the server process and the handshake. Uh, you can see the color is a uh, dark. Uh, is a little bit dark. The color of the code a little bit dark because uh, we use it use one defy to control it. Here we can define the variable temporary. Uh, we can define the variable temporarily, but uh, it's just for read the code. Okay. We save it. Okay, you can see the color will uh, change uh, a little bit light. Okay, this code must be removed in the future. Okay, so uh, added by Michael uh, just for for the for viewing the code. Okay, must be removed. Okay, because uh, we have other places or also define the uh, variable. Okay, so if we just uh, define here and uh, we compile the code, we will get some error. And uh, so in the future, we uh, if we need to uh, compile it, we must uh, remove it uh, like this, like this. Remove it. And here we, in order to change the code color to for a better view, we define it here. Okay. Okay. So it changed the color. So let's go back to the handshake. Okay. So this is uh, HTTPD uh, WebSock response server handshake. Tell us how to how the ESP32 processing the handshake when the verbal sock set up the connection okay so uh, the first things um the first things are uh, it detected the uh, uh, verbal sock version uh, detected the verbal sock version so uh, it gets the version value okay this second web sock version is uh in the uh Let's take a look at the description for the WebSock protocol. Okay, so this is uh, the WebSock protocol. We discussed it uh, in previous video, and uh, we compare the protocol with the code. We will see more clearly. Okay, so the first things it detects the WebSock version uh, exist or not. So this is. Uh, uh, Second WebSock version, so uh, it is here match this position, uh, match this part. This is from the client uh, sent from the client. So this is uh, WebSock version uh, is 13, 13, Okay, so uh, here it will compare the version is thirteen or not. Okay, and after that it will get the uh, WebSock key. Okay, so this is the uh, WebSock key. Uh, is for this one. So the WebSock key is for the um, connection security. Okay, it get it from the client key first. Okay, this code is to get it from the client key first, and then it will prepare the server key. So this is the server key. Okay, prepare the server key. Okay, so prepare the server key, and it will do some uh, encoding operation. Encode operation. Okay, it's here. Do the encode operation things, and then uh, it will it will check the um, 
it will check the sub protocol. Uh, check the sub protocol. After this, uh, it will uh, it will create all the uh, response string uh, which will match this part. Uh, match this part. You can see HTTP 1.1 version, uh, 1.1 version, and uh, response call 101, response call 101, switch and protocol, switch and protocol, and upgrade to uh, WebSock connection upgrade and uh, WebSock accept. This is the server key. Exactly match this part, okay? Put it into the buffer. Put it into the buffer, and then it will, uh, it will call the function to send it out. Uh, let's take a look. It will call this function to send it out. HTTPD send to send the all the string back to the client uh, for the handshake. Uh, for the handshake. So this is a handshake processing for the WebSock. Okay. So this is this function, but for our example, how the example calls this function? Uh, in our example call, it seems it seems it seems nowhere to call this function. So uh, we start from this function to see which function uh, have called this function. Okay, so we take a look at the uh, reference function reference to see which function will call this one function okay so uh, it is uh, here HTTP URI uh, take a look so it's in this position to do the uh, server handshake you can see uh, this has another def has the define uh, control the code so uh, here, uh, if we don't use in the future, we must remove this defect uh, because uh, we have the defect control this code also. And uh, how we open the defect, we will open the defect uh, in the manual config. Okay, so this is the position called the uh, uh, handshake processing function. So let's take a look at the function name. So is this function, HTTPD URL URI, and then let's take a look at the, who calls this function. Which, where is the, uh, uh, okay. So this function will be called uh, here, okay, is this here, and it will be this function, okay. It will be this function to this function is used to analyze the request from the client. Let's take a look at where is this function uh, to be called. Okay, find all reference. Okay, so uh, it will be here. Okay, it will be here. So is this function uh, uh, request new and the continue? We will find his parents who call it okay okay so it is in the section okay uh, is httpd session processing okay it calls this function and then let's continue to find the reference Okay, so it's HTTP may dot C. Okay, you can see uh, it's here, and then it's the uh, processing session. Okay, processing session. Let's continue to find the app layer. Okay. Okay, it's here. Okay. So. It's inside this function, uh, HTTP server. Great. So HTTP server, uh, which one calls this HTTP server? 
Okay, so it will be uh, let's take a look. It's here. Uh, so this is HTTP thread calls this HTTP server. Let's continue to find the final place. Okay. So uh, it is here. So you will see this is the HTTP start. Uh, we have seen this function uh, in, at the beginning of this video. Let's continue to find it. Okay, lots of file has called this function and for our case is our WS Oracle Server dot C. So let's take a look. So you will see uh, in our uh, in our example call uh, in our uh, WebSock Oracle Server example call uh, inside the start variable server calls httpd start okay at the very beginning it calls this one uh, inside this function uh, finally we will call the um, we will call the handshake function okay uh, we will call this handshake function okay it start from the it start from the http start function and the called the handshake and then processing uh, processing the first part uh, the first part handshake okay for the WebSock it will process in the first part handshake for the WebSock okay after the uh, handshake and the, the WebSock will set up the connection uh, okay we will set up the connection after the connection and it can receive date and send date okay so this video uh, this video is mainly for uh, the handshake part to see to see how the WebSock how the ESP32 WebSock example call uh, do the handshake where is the code okay how the how the function call each other okay okay so this is this video i'm michael see you next time